What the? So you've chosen death. Hey guys, it's me. Today, we're going to turn a squishy into a house fly. But why are you making a fly? Hear me out. These demonic creatures are notoriously evil. So? I figured if I turned a squishy into one, I could always have the satisfaction of squishing it. To death. If you're new here, you should probably consider selling your soul to me by hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and set it to all so you get notifications every time I post. I post new videos every Friday. If you've already seen one of my squishy makeover videos, then you probably already know who I was inspired by. Mariah Elizabeth, AKA Squishy Queen. And so, with all that being said, Let's get started. Okay guys, so I was having a little bit of trouble thinking of what to turn this squishy into. I really wanted to use the overall shape and not have to cut anything off of this one. Eventually I decided to turn it into a fly. I figured that I could use his little ears as his wings and his little antlers as the antennas. It's always fun looking at these squishies and thinking about what you could turn them into because so many of them are so weirdly shaped. I know what you guys are probably thinking though. Are flies really evil? And to that I answer... You're adopted. The way I personally see it, you can't really lay your eggs in a dead animal and have your babies eat its flesh until they grow wings and buzz around and annoy the crap out of everybody without being a little evil. Okay, I think he's looking pretty good. Let's just take this guy off. Oh, hey there, buddy. That's okay. Easy fix. Ah, yes, what a rare and fine specimen you are. The elusive and mysterious cake deer. Yeah, dance. Let's make him dance a little bit. Isn't that cute? I've got one major problem with you, my little cake friend. Cute things make me vomit. Alright, so we're just gonna start like we normally do by sanding this little dude down. I've learned to try and give it an extra good sanding. You don't want to skimp on the sanding. You guys might feel a little bad for the squishy, but trust me, that's how you know you're doing it right. Okay, you guys know the drill by now. Let's get started finger painting this abomination. I've been noticing that some of you guys are wondering why I'm finger painting these squishies and not using a brush. I figured I'd talk to you guys about that a little bit. You know, while we do our usual 70 coats of the base color. So, I actually did start out using brushes if you go back to one of my first squishy makeover videos. The thing is that with this fabric paint, I soon discovered that it literally destroyed the brushes. Like, completely obliterated them. After watching a ton of Mariah Elizabeth and Nerdy Crafter and other squishy makeoverers, I did pick up on the fact that a lot of them use hard things to paint their squishies. Specifically popsicle sticks, it seems like popsicle sticks are really the way to go when it comes to painting these guys for at least their main coat of paint. But right now, I don't got any popsicle sticks, so I'm using the next best thing in all situations. My squishy makeover episodes tend to be pretty experimental, so you guys will see later in this episode that I do end up using like some sharpie markers and some paint markers that I've never used on squishies before. I hope that you guys like how it turns out. Anyways, let's get back to painting this squishy. So we've got a pretty good first base layer of black on here, and I'm just taking some puffy paint, and I'm going to start making some legs on this guy to give him some dimension. Okay, let's just give him his other three legs on the other side here. Trying not to make a mistake. Okay, perfect. Now he has something to land on your face with. He does need a little button nose, though. Let's just use some more of this puffy paint and boop a little nose on there. And, oh, that was a mistake. Trying not to make a mistake. I was trying to give him some little mandibles, but it didn't work out that time, so let's just clean that up and we'll try again later. Ok, 
Okay, now let's just go back and very gently paint on his little mandibles. We're all being very anatomically correct on this episode. I feel like a bug scientist. Okay, there, it's looking a lot better now. Now he has something to nibble on your butt with. Don't let him land anywhere on your food, though. You don't want that. Flies eat all sorts of poop. Ew. Okay, now we're just going to mix together a light green to use for his eyes. Funny story, though, I end up going over the same spot with this green a million times, and then I just end up using the paint markers. I'm adding a little yellow to it here because I wanted it to be more of like a lime green than a mint green. But like I said, we're gonna go over this anyway. Now you can see here I wasn't liking the way it was looking, so I took this old lime green paint marker and started going over the mess I made. Here I'm just adding some cute little eye shines to his eyes to bring them to life. For this fly, I was thinking about doing the crisscross eye design thing. You know, this kind of thing. But I decided not to do that for this squishy. Maybe I'll do that in a future insect design. After I added the eye shines to him, he was just looking so cute. And I just didn't want to ruin his eyes by trying that this time. Here I just took a sharpie and touched up his antennas, and now I'm adding some lines into his little wings there. You guys may be able to see it, it's a little tough in the camera, but I used the sharpie to also do some little hairs on his body. It is a little tough to see with just the black though, so I'm going to go back in with a silver sharpie and then just outline some more hairs. I'm also going to use that same silver sharpie on his legs. I think it makes them pop out a little bit more. I also think it gives him this like insecty kind of sheen. You know how flies have that kind of like iridescence to them? Now let's just go over his little head here and just add some more hairs, make sure they're covering his whole body. Okay, and now we have our finished cute little fly. And here is a little before and after for you all. Look how far our little guy has come. And of course, I know you all are wondering when I'm gonna give this guy a squish. Well, I hope you're hungry because I have a hot steaming pile of squish coming up for you guys right now. Ah. Oh. All right, it's loony time. In last week's video, I turned Sonic the Hedgehog into a zombie. Definitely go check that video out if you haven't already. I just wanted to take a look at some of my favorite comments from that video. You hear that, devil? I'm better than you. Yeet! What? No. I'm not a cannibal. Oh, you mean this one? Isn't it cute? Speaking of cute, here is some more awesome art that you guys sent me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>